Greetings guys, YouTube Killer here, and the video is about what I think, and my predictions of Hell in a Cell 2014. But it's kind of hard to call the card because so many people are jumping on so many bandwagons, but me, I still be the same, and honestly... Ambrose is the way to go because Ambrose grew up hard. You know, if you guys don't know, he used to be known as John Moxley from long ago in the Combat Zone Wrestling. And you guys can look him up if you really need to go that far and in depth and shit. But the reason why, in my own opinion, why you know Ambrose deserves this win over John Cena, and we go back to John Cena's old matches, you know, Bray Wyatt got buried by him, anybody in the last six or seven years that's went up against John Cena got buried, come on WWE, let the man have his moment to shine, or you like, or you want to troll against Dean Ambrose, you know, the guy... If you don't know him from WWE, has had one of the hardest past that some of us couldn't even fucking even imagine. But you know that's no excuse. You know when it comes to a character, you know our real life uh, profiles do not exist. But with Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley, you know he he fucking is not afraid to take a hit. He's not afraid to get punched. He's not afraid to be fucking hurt. You know, whatever WWE asks of him, he'll do it. Regardless. And I think right there, set alone, is more than the fact that, you know, Dean Ambrose, John Oxley, deserves to get more than what he's getting. I mean, I'm one to say that, you know, he deserves a fucking title by now. And I'm not just saying the US title, maybe an intercontinental title, or something else more. But in the end, this man has bled, sweated, he has had fucking light bulbs busting across his back. He has somebody literally take a goddamn fucking chainsaw, um, we call it a gator blade. You know one of them gator blades that come in the, like, battery packs that are used to cut really thick wood? Well, there was a wrestler by the name of, uh, Brain Damage that actually took the fucking gator blade across the fucking top of his goddamn head. And this motherfucker bled for everything you can ever, you can only imagine, screaming in pain. Gets back in the ring and still fights this fat motherfucker. Now, you might be a little John Cena little fucking pussy. But Dean Ambrose has changed his character, you know, a lot. And when I say he changed his character a lot, he had to water himself down to the PG era. But if you guys will fucking lick goddamn fucking Dean Ambrose... Be the fucking monster he is. And let him go back to being John Moxley. WWE, Stone Cold Steve Austin, even in his goddamn attitude error, could not touch this motherfucker. Stone Cold Steve Austin would not take a goddamn fucking electric razor blade that was turned on, for real, across the fucking forehead. What motherfucking point do I gotta make there? Goddamn Ambrose ha deserves so much fucking more than what he's getting. People don't even know his goddamn past. Pull for the guy. If you knew this kid's fucking goddamn past and the fucking type of matches he's been in, I mean, goddamn, I don't give a fuck what fucking era you're from. The Golden Era, the fucking Ruthless Aggression Era, the goddamn Attitude Era. The fucking PG era, reality era, whatever the fuck you want to call it. 
Dean Ambrose has pulled more than his fucking weight to be here. I'm not just saying it to be a fanboy. I'm saying it because the motherfucker has deserved it. Whether you like him or not, Dean Ambrose has been through more shit than John Cena could only fucking sleep of. So, with that, <clears throat> excuse me, WWE, you have really, really got to take in consideration this guy is the true fucking hardcore legend that is his own person, as many people in the last few fucking months I've read, they compared them to Foley, they create, you know, compared them to Benoit, Brian Pillman, when he was during his loose cannon. Dean Ambrose is Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose, deep down side, will always, to me, in my eyes, be John Moxley. A motherfucker who grew up with nothing, that had one of the fucking hardest life, came back, proved everybody wrong, that he deserved to be champion. That he still deserves more than what WWE's presenting. And eventually, that's gonna fucking shut. Now, I hate to be one of them, you know, on a track, on a, you know, a popular side, but... I was saying this about fucking Ambrose before Ambrose was even known of. I knew him as John Moxley. I knew him when he was in C. You know, when he was in his fucking combat zone wrestling. The man deserves more than what he's getting. We're talking about a man that took, and I'm not fucking kidding, guys. This motherfucker took a goddamn real fucking gator blade. Now, if you know what a gator saw blade looks like, and what it is, it's a fucking handheld, like an, uh, battery operated, um, battery that's attached to what you would normally use as a drill to drill screws in. But the gator blade is a fucking jigsaw like blade. On a battery operated gun. This motherfucker actually took the blade to the head. And kept fucking wrestling. Even though his fucking skin was fucking on goddamn camera. In front of everybody. Bowling into fucking goddamn bubbles. Got back in the ring and kept fighting this son of a bitch. Now if you're a John Cena fan. I understand that. But do not sit there and say. Dean Ambrose does not deserve to be where he is today. Any motherfucking man that could take that and keep going and not just quit and not just walk out has earned my respect. That's why I've jumped and become more of a Dean Ambrose fan because of that simple fact. So, we go back on topic to Hell in the Cell 2014. It's going to be John Cena versus Ambrose. No, I'm, I, you know, I'm no psychic. I don't know who's going to win this match. But personally, I'm hoping Ambrose does. Because if anybody in that goddamn locker room deserves to go at Rollins, it's fucking Ambrose. He has pulled more than his own goddamn weight. More than anybody, anybody I've seen in fucking years has deserved to be in the fucking main event. CM Punk couldn't even imagine the shit this guy's been through. And this guy still fucking did his job and never walked out. Even when he had a goddamn fucking gator blade to his goddamn head. This son of a bitch never walked out. So yeah, call me a goddamn Ambrose fanboy and hate me for it. But I'm going with Ambrose all the way to win Hell in the Cell 2014. Good night, guys.